Check out the fit, check out the fit. you see me pull up to your thanksgiving like this and this fit is it valid like are you gonna let me eat you finna let me stay or like you finna just tell me to kick rocks mm -hmm. no, no. what's good youtube we back with another bang of it today happy thanksgiving Thank everyone if you want to know how i'm doing and shit just find my youtube watch my videos i got all my social links and shit you can hit me up on there i literally have my social links and shit right above me so yeah this is gonna be the thanksgiving special vid we got our food with us all right i'm not gonna lie this is like leftover thanksgiving food <laughs> But today in real time, when this video is posted, I'll be eating fresh Thanksgiving food, so... Yes sir, it's not Thanksgiving without your eggnog. I actually made a TikTok on everything that I made on my plate right now, uh, a couple days ago when it was fresh. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, I have my TikTok link down in my bio. So I'll post it as a YouTube short too though, so you can just slide out of here real fast. But... For today in this video, we're, we're finna do a couple of things. We'll, we'll do a couple of things for sure. After all, this is the first Thanksgiving video. Um, so kind of just going going at it and we'll see where this video goes. But first, we're going to start off with a tier ranking list. We're going to rank all the best Thanksgiving foods and side dishes out there. But before we get into that, leave a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And drop down in the comments and let me know what is the best Thanksgiving food out there. I know that's one debatable question, but I want to know. I want to know what y'all think is the best Thanksgiving food out there. But yeah, let's waste no time in this mug. Get straight into this video course come on now it's it's thanksgiving we at the dinner table we got to do our thing real quick all right so if you need to get up and go take a little puff break real fast <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with it all right ain't nothing wrong with that you got family and shit you got annoying ass relatives around she <coughs> hi right, let's waste no time get straight into this video these trailers always got these damn ads right here so we just gonna go ahead and block that hoe like this watch <laughs> fuck the ads we don't need those we don't need to get copyrighted or anything like that we just gonna go ahead and go over the tiers first one i'm leaving if it's not there love it it's okay i'm good and won't even look at that shit so let's just go ahead and dive straight into this motherfucking list man first up off the list we got apple pies originally on my plate i would have had an apple pie but on my tiktok video uh, i tried the apple pie already for the first time i didn't like it so i ain't even gonna look at that shit if i'm being completely honest bro it's really hard for me to get into pie unless it's like blueberry raspberry or a cherry pie and then that's about it to be honest i'm not gonna lie some of these i haven't really tried i'm just gonna rank it based off of how it sounds here we go baked squash never had that shit but i don't think i would eat it, it sounds kind of gross bro i know what it is like i've seen the, i've seen squashes so i'll, I'll pass my fault y'all these pants are fucking itchy as hell bro these all tight ass hollister pants <laughs> anyways shit bro my girl gets off at three so shit we got like an hour and a half to hurry up and get through this mug we're gonna try to knock these out as quick as we can that way we could just chill and talk about other shit all right next up off the list we have baked sweet potato pie fuck baked sweet potatoes i've even had these like as a lineup before going to thanksgiving and there's just no way man i don't i don't really mess with the smell i know a lot of people like them or whatever but just not for me i won't even look at that shit biscuits love that shit of course why not i mean i'm not gonna leave if there's no biscuits but i love me some biscuits for sure brown gravy will also go in the love it category brown gravy gravy you need that shit with the mashed potatoes love that shit brussels sprouts for me i'm not gonna lie as healthy as they might be for you i don't care i won't even look at that shit pass it on to somebody else who's more into like greens and shit it's just not for me collard greens i never had it so it could be good i don't know i've had brussels sprouts before and yeah i, I wasn't really fucking with those so compost i have no clue what that is but i wouldn't even look at it looks like a fucking garden or something i don't know cool it cool whip i'm not eating if there's no cool whip bro for my damn desserts and shit like y'all see me y'all see me i'm leaving if it's not there bro i know this isn't even a fucking dish or anything but i won't even touch a pie if there's no damn whipped cream like are you for real hell no nah, bro so i'm gonna leave it right there corn casserole i'm gonna put corn casserole and i'm good i like cornbread but it's okay corn i'm leaving if there's no corn i'm sorry i don't know what it is about corn especially if it when it's seasoned and buttered oh my gosh cranberry 
cranberry sauce. I won't even look at that shit. Pass it on to the boomers. They all like that shit. I don't know. Cream spinach? Hell nah. Pass that shit, bro. I'm not even looking at that. Croissant rolls? I won't leave if it's not there, but I can get down with some croissant rolls. Dinner rolls? Now these? I'm leaving it if it's not there. I'll consider these as like, like sweet Hawaiian bread. I'm just, I'm leaving if it's not there. I'm sorry. My fault, this shit was making me hungry. I ain't gonna lie. All right, next up, we got glazed carrots. Uh, I don't think I've ever had those, to be honest. So I'm gonna leave those and won't even look at it. Because, yeah, I wouldn't even really look at that shit if it was on the table. Grape salad? I wouldn't even look at that. That sounds kind of gross. I'm not really too big on grapes either. My girlfriend loves green bean casserole, but I absolutely despise all this shit. So I will not even look at it. Green beans? I love green beans. Oh, fuck. My fault. Bro, I need a new fucking mouse, bro. I got this, like, whack-ass Logitech mouse, bro. Anyway, when green beans are, like, buttered and seasoned the right way, 10 out of 10. Easy. And they're fucking good for you. It's like a two for one. Next up, we got green jello salad. The hell is this? Hell nah, I'm not looking at that shit. Shit nasty as hell. Ham. If there ain't no ham, bro, I'm out of there. If there's no ham, bro, what the fuck type of business I got being there? None. I ain't got no business being there if there's no ham. Simple as that. I have no reason to be there if there's no ham. Oh, my fault. Let me scroll up. Next up, red jello salad. Yeah, bro. I'm leaving. If that shit ain't there, I'm out of there, bro. Consider me gone. Next up, mac and cheese. Same, bro. Same. I'm gone if there's no mac and cheese. That's like fucking one of the best side dishes out there. Mashed potatoes as well, bro. You can't go wrong. Most meals need potatoes or some type of potatoes. So that's why mashed potatoes will stay there. I'm leaving if that shit ain't there. Next up, we got pecan pie. I love pecan pie. Now, when you got pecan pie and you put a little ice cream on top, bro. Oh, my gosh. That shit made my toes curl. All right, next up, we got pumpkin pie. I'm sorry, bro, but no. I've, I'm have i absolutely traumatized from pumpkin pie. When, a long time ago, when I was a kid, bro, I went to one of like my Mexican tia's houses or whatever. Bro, I ate a slice of pumpkin pie from there and that whole entire night i was i was throwing up the whole time i couldn't i couldn't do shit i was throwing up i couldn't sleep and yeah pretty much ever since then anytime i smell pumpkin pie i just i get flashbacks from then and i can't i won't even look at that shit all right next up we got red jello salad we already have red jello salad huh yeah it's literally right there shit put it right next to it it's just simple i'm leaving if it's not there next up we got red potatoes yeah i'm probably good off of that i like regular mashed potatoes shit i ain't gonna lie bro i could get down with some roasted carrots so I'm gonna put that in the in the love it section when they roast it and season the right way. Ooh. All right, next up we got roasted potatoes. These will also go alongside love it. Normally I can get down with some mashed potatoes, but shit, bro, I love me some roasted potatoes. Scallop potatoes, it's okay. It's alright. I mean, it's not bad, but they ain't the best either because they got this weird flavor to them. I don't know. All right, next up we got steak. Normally this will be an I'm leaving if it's not there, but I'll put it in love it because who the fuck has ever had steak on Thanksgiving? <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you guys. But I've, I've never had steak as a dish on Thanksgiving before. Sound like some rich people shit, to be honest. It's like an extra thing off the menu. <laughs> shit, I can get down with some steak, though. So don't get that shit twisted. All right, next up, we got stuffing. I'm cool off the stuffing. I'm, I'm good off that. I've tried it before, too, many times. And yeah, I just, I can't get down with it. Next up, we got sweet potato casserole. I won't even look at that shit, bro. I don't like sweet potatoes. I don't believe potatoes should be sweet. They need to be salty, my nigga. Potatoes are meant to be salty salty bro they're not meant to be sweet so don't sweeten the potatoes leave them alone or salting them bitches up all right next up we got turkey i'm sorry this is another one of those things but it's thanksgiving so i'm fucking leaving if there's no turkey especially when you like mix those up with the other foods oh my gosh i'm sorry but i'm leaving if there's no turkey on thanksgiving come on what the fuck, fuck is this all right next up we got whipped cream technically we already have that shit up here so i'll throw it up there as well i'm leaving if there's no cool whip or whipped cream for my eggnog next up we got white gravy i'm gonna put it in and love it just because it pairs pretty good with um with biscuits and shit so why not <laughs> the fuck but yeah that's gonna be our tier list right there best thanksgiving foods out let me know in the comment section how i did on this shit
We actually doing pretty good on time, I ain't gonna lie. So what types of plans y'all got this year for Thanksgiving and shit? Y'all just gonna be going out with your families? I know one of my homies has to hit up all of his families, and then he's gotta go and hit his girl's family, so he's got a lot going on. Drop down in the comments and let me know if you got a bunch of families to hit this year for Thanksgiving. I just gotta hit up all my girls, family members and shit, so, which is not too many, so it's really not that bad this time of year for us. We just be chilling for the most part, but other than that, man, I mean, I get paid on... I get paid for my work on Black Friday, so I gotta go out and do a bunch of shopping and shit. Pretty much my whole check is gonna go to the damn Christmas shopping and shit, so definitely gonna keep an eye out for uh, Cyber Monday as well. Amazon always got some pretty good deals. Oh yeah, also drop down in the comments and let me know what's one main thing that y'all asking for this year for Christmas. Let me know. Shit. This year, I'm kind of hoping I can grab me. I really want me a spider hoodie or some some type of spider apparel. Cause free that man Jeffrey, he the goat. I mean, other than that, shit, probably like Modern Warfare 3, probably like another monitor, stuff for like my setup and shit. I have a pretty like pretty mid tier setup. I would try and go out and grab me a camera, my 4K digital camera on Thanksgiving and shit, or I mean on Black Friday and shit. But all my damn money is gonna go to the Christmas shopping, like I said earlier. So I'll probably go ahead and, and get my camera sometime closer to christmas or maybe even for my birthday my birthday is in december so it's next month that's why we're about to kick this content shit into high gear make sure we keep consistent with our uploads try to upload as much as we can on as many platforms as we can like you know tiktok instagram youtube youtube shorts and just try to make a wide variety of content like a wide variety of good quality content that's pretty much what the whole point of this channel is that's pretty much what the whole point of like my drive to do this really i mean <coughs> i genuinely enjoy tapping into different things you know be it tiktoks stupid funny shit sports fucking eating vlogs literally anything like i don't know that's just me bro that's just how i always been but yeah content wise man i don't really like like i want to i don't want to keep I don't want to keep a tunnel vision content wise you know what i mean like i want to be able to widen my variety so that i could say i've been able to tap into this that and the other and you know because i feel like going at one thing over and over and over and over again that to me like that shit is repetitive like it gets if it, it phases out too so that's why i kind of like with this content shit i like to do different things now a way i do keep this shit consistent is making sure that i do my i still upload my sports stuff so like football videos basketball videos even if they don't get views because that keeps me in the loop it keeps me in a groove of constantly editing videos posting videos making content so as far as that something like that because i love sports i grew up with sports that will always be there for me but i really do like to try and widen my variety as far as content and shit i even forgot to include music music is a huge thing i fuck with the drake album reaction video will actually be out today so that's another example but yeah i want to be able to try to tap into as many different genres categories i guess you can call them as you can find man like fuck it that's kind of how it's been my whole life bro like fuck it <laughs> that's been my whole mantra man fuck it bro let's just do it i'm not gonna lie though bro this youtube shit is a grind for other content creators out here doing that man consistently editing videos and posting content every day man like bro like i got real respect for you for real because this content shit bro having to do this shit and keep like a consistent check coming in bro like this shit is not easy like this shit gets tiring especially if you want like good quality stuff to come out to you don't want to just be putting out bullshit or whatever because nobody wants to watch no bullshit so sometimes it can get kind of challenging i ain't gonna lie but like most other content creators can say the main thing that keeps you going bro is just the the passion for it i guess you could say so shout outs to y'all i haven't been able to really sit down and, and look at my numbers and kind of figure out a goal of where i want to be so i'll do a whole video and shit on that closer towards the end of the year maybe like i'll post that shit like on on new year's day or on new year's eve and i'll set a goal for the new year so since we're kind of just barely tapping into this i will say after my first month bro this shit is a grind it ain't no joke but if you enjoy it it's like why not you know what i'm saying if you truly do enjoy it i ain't gonna lie you, you're gonna you'll find fun in it i do find hella fun and sit down for a couple hours and editing a whole video i do bro this shit is fire i love doing it and it's what keeps me from being so bored outside of like going to work and doing this other shit and just pretty much just doing other things you know what i'm saying because like sometimes life can get boring or like repetitive i guess so i like to do this content shit bro because it keeps me i don't know what the right word is 
I don't know, man. I guess I just, I, I like to have motion, bro. I like to have motion. And of course, like keeping a job and working a nine to five, that's motion for sure. Like that's what I do. But wanted to like kind of just do something a little bit more like outside of just a nine to five, which is what I'm doing right now. I work at Chipotle. And I mean, it's not bad, but it's not something I want to do for the fucking the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not going to spend the rest of my life working at Chipotle. And like, I don't really want to be like a higher up in that field, to be honest, because if we're being real, everybody who works in that higher up field, the managers all the way up to like the CEOs and shit, all of them have bosses, bro. Unless you are the day one owner of that shit, they all got bosses. We all got bosses. So that's why when I clock out of my nine to five, when I'm done with that shit, I'm off to go and try to start my own shit. You know what I'm saying? Because we got 24 hours in a day. So I'm gonna spend eight of it working or whatever for whoever I need to work for. And once that's done, bro, I'm gonna go and try to try to find my own shit try to start my own my own stuff i'm not gonna say you gotta go and start your own content shit or whatever but i feel like that could be a good mentality to have just for like in general you know what i'm saying try to try to like get out of that that nine to five mindset i mean it's good to have it ain't nothing wrong with it i'm doing it right now bro but it's okay to try to think bigger than that you know what i'm saying it's also okay to know that you might have to do that shit for a while it might be years it might be fucking decades bro before something hits whatever it is like your craft outside of your nine to five it might be a minute i ain't gonna lie but as long as you got that nine to five right there to consistently support your craft that you also want to be consistent you'll be all right you'll be straight you know what i'm saying if you truly believe that the shit is good quality to the world then somebody will pluck you out and be like nah man you, you you don't need to be working on nine to fives you can come and do this shit for money instead some will hit bro i don't know but as long as you just stay consistent bro there's nothing wrong with having that nine to five bro. even if you got homies that are out fucking in college or whatever or out seeing the world and traveling that's all right bro like let them do what they gotta do you know what i'm saying let them enjoy their experience at their time of their life at a certain time of your life you're gonna be able to do what what it is that you want to do you know what i'm saying so there's no need to rush things just know that like consistency is gonna be the key for sure but yeah i don't know if i kind of just went on a rant right there i kind of lost track of what i was talking about <laughs> i'm gonna make sure i'm gonna try to have a goals video out by the end of the year as far as like subscribers so Oh, I'm also going to be getting back on uh, my stream shit as well. Yeah, I'm actually real excited to get back into that. That way I can start doing more collabs with like some of my homies and shit. And I could also get you guys more gameplay. I'm recording all of my videos off of a cheap old little Nexigo uh, Amazon webcam. It's just like 1080p, but it, it's not bad. So it just sits right in between my monitors. Once I am able to get myself a 4K camera though, this shit going to be crispy. Plus, my VODs and shit will be able to actually download to my computer. So, I can just stream a quick reaction off of YouTube. Let's say it's like a Phoenix Suns video. Bam, watch that shit real quick. Download the VOD, post it on YouTube. I don't even have to edit it or nothing. Because eventually, we'll get into a rhythm of how to just do one takes. Just like that. No editing. Uh, I'm already kind of starting to get a little bit better at it. But I'm also trying to focus on not like being too repetitive. But I do have my own certain vocab. I have a lot of go-to words. Everybody does. So, we're going to try to get better at that one take that one take stuff and yeah like i keep saying bro we just gonna really try to branch out to as much as we possibly can because that's just naturally who i am i don't mean to go and try to tap into other things either may like look weird or seem weird like maybe like out of my my field but that's just who i am bro i watch cartoons at night i fucking smoke and shit i listen to fucking travis scott drake i watch sports i played sports all my life when i was a kid so like i just be tapping into everything really <laughs> but yeah honestly i think that's gonna do it for today a little thanksgiving ted talk i think we kind of covered everything we had our thanksgiving tier list we talked about our goals and our updates and shit and yeah those are really the two main big things to be honest but that's gonna do it for this video this year's first annual thanksgiving video from your boy bobby g hope y'all have a great thanksgiving today go see your family go see your friends make sure you let them know that you love them you fucks with them and also don't forget to show your boy some love and drop a like on this video subscribe to my channel if you aren't already shit come on bro if you're not subscribed bro come on like at this point what you doing you need to get on the train bro you need to get with the program let's subscribe my nigga also let me know down in the comments what uh nfl games are you most excited for today thanksgiving day i got the lions against the packers fuck the cowboys so i'm not even gonna mention that game and i got the 49ers to come out here and ball out against the seahawks 
But yeah, make sure y'all hit all of those three. Like, comment, subscribe. I'ma see you guys in the next one. Happy Thanksgiving. Be safe. And I'll see y'all when it's Christmas time. Peace.